And as you might imagine, news of the governor's plan isn't sitting well with some Detroit teachers. 18 DPS schools were closed today as teachers pulled a no-show and took to the streets expressing outrage over the governor's plan. This is video from a protest in Lansing attended by hundreds of teachers. Some parents, of course, that we spoke to are not happy at all about this, saying they found out about the school closings after their kids were already at school. I'm like pissed off, excuse my French. I'm, I'm like pissed off. I had to come inside the school, and that's how I found out. I didn't get a roll call or anything. And joining us now to discuss all of this, Steve Kahn, president of the Detroit Federation of Teachers, and Tony Daunt from the Michigan Freedom Fund. Thanks to both of you for joining us tonight. Steve, we're going to start Hi, with you. you. You you heard some angry parents there. What do you say to parents who were upset about these closings today, 18 schools in all? Join us in our next protest. We're going to continue to march for equal quality schools for the young people of Detroit. Join us, walk with us, march with us, the young people especially. And I think what happened last night with the district not telling the parents, they knew last night these teachers weren't coming in. They made a conscious choice not to tell the parents. And it's reprehensible. It's continued the district EM, the emergency manager appointed by the governor, continuing to mismanage things in order to destroy public education. And we're not having it. The teachers are standing up, and I urge parents and students, march with us. Let's march down Woodward coming up. Let's march down for equal quality schools. We're done with this inequality. We're done with them attacking our city and our public schools. The teachers today made history today. They stood up, and we've started a movement. Join in. All right, Let's Steve. march together. All right, Steve, we'll get back to what parents knew and when they knew it in a moment. But first of all, we're going to go to Tony. Your group put out a very strong statement today, blasting the teachers, saying this was just the union flexing muscles. Explain. I wouldn't say that we are uh, blasting teachers at all. I think what, what we're blasting is this action by Mr. Khan here. Uh, and you hear him, he is, uh, shows no remorse for the actions they took today to leave 10,000 children on the streets, at home, not being educated as they are uh, supposed to be. And he is, seems quite proud of the actions that they've taken. And it's, it's really sad that somebody who has been entrusted with a position of leadership will take such a strident stand to further his own political, partisan, reckless gain uh, in, in the face of reform. And it's, it's, our statement speaks for itself that we think that uh, Steve Kahn should be fired and the teachers who participated in this sham should be removed because let's call this what this is. It's an illegal strike and it's punishable by fines and up to termination. Steve, before we give you the chance to respond to that, I want to add one more thing. DPS emergency manager Darnell Early also not happy today. He released a statement saying in part, it is truly unfortunate that so many of those who profess to be dedicated educators have decided to participate in this action giving, given its unjustifiable and unconscionable consequence. Steve, what do you make of, of both of those thoughts? We've got to do reality check here. I'm sorry, 30 years I have of teaching Detroit young people. My child is a product of Detroit Public Schools. I live in Detroit Public Schools, work in Detroit Public Schools. There are problems that need to be addressed. The young people of Detroit in the charters and the EAA and even the public schools are being sold out, sold down the drain every day. Where is this gentleman on that issue? Where is early? Early do best. If he thinks what we did is unconscionable, I call on Early, do the right thing and leave the district, resign. Don't be the governor's flunky here and try to continue to attack the teachers and attack the students. Do the right thing, yep. Mr. Early. Get out of town. Now, Steve, we need you... our schools back. We need a right to elect a school board fully empowered like everybody now, Steve, else in the state of Michigan. Steve, I want Go to ahead. interrupt you here because sure. I mean, you're, you're, looking at, you're obviously looking at a long plan here, but do you understand in the short term the fact that suddenly the teachers didn't show up today? You say that parents are supposed to know about it. Parents tell us they didn't know about it. So is this the best right. way to make your point, angering the parents of these students? That is early playing a game, though. That The district knew last night who was coming in and wasn't. The teachers called in. I want to get back to my main point. We're on the march to fight for quality education, away with warehousing students. We want these young people to have a future, and we want our hard-working teachers to have a future. They've gone in for teaching for a reason, to educate, and they've got to be able to earn a living and having their jobs threatened all their time. And every time we turn around a new series of threats, away with that. We're done with that. We're standing up in the tradition of Martin Luther King and the civil rights fighters of that last generation. We're building a new civil rights movement beginning right here in Detroit. 
with the DFT, and we're going to keep on marching. Steve, we I under urge people to join in. This is a only real somebody, opportunity to change for the better. Tony, go ahead. Only somebody that is completely detached from the reality of the situation of the Detroit public schools would think that the way to help educate children and to get the school system back on track is to shutter the schools and to force 10,000 kids to stay home, not be educated, and not learn their lesson for the day. Tony, in can fact, I the lesson they're learning is that nobody in Detroit cares about them, uh, and my... that's, that's tragic. And uh, Steve talks about a civil rights movement. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a shame that the school system has been run with such mismanagement and corruption for years that leaves it in, in, in a situation that it's now in where we need to, the, the government needs to step in and, and institute these reforms to get it back on track. We can argue all day about okay, these protests wait, wait, and if wait. it was the right thing to do. Hold on, please. I would like to change the topic quickly in our time remaining to what you think of the plan. Steve, we know you oppose it and many of the teachers do. Tony, what you heard from the governor today, good idea for the school district? Dead on arrival. It's you know, nothing I, I have for the not people looked of Detroit. Into the details of, I, I believe the question was directed at me, was it not? Yes, it was. It was. Go ahead. Uh, I have not. Uh, I have not looked at the details of the governor's plan, and I'm not. Wouldn't say I'm equipped to speak about the actual details. But from the standpoint of uh, putting forth a proposal that looks to solve the problems and address the problems that have been inherent in this school system for decades, uh, is is a much more serious approach than to. Uh, gather buses, shut down schools, and, and send teachers here to Lansing to march and laugh and, and, uh, and you know, engage in behavior uh, okay. that they would reprimand okay. their students for. Okay, like Tony, Mr. I'm, I'm going to move on to second. Steve, now, I have, I've looked at this plan. I don't see anything in the plan that marginalizes teachers per se. Why are teachers angry about this? We've seen what this plan did in Highland Park, Michigan, and Muskegon Heights, it just led to all charters, destroyed careers of teachers, and it's no good for education for young people. There's nothing they can point to in either of those two other districts where they split the district that improved the lives of, of the young people, improved their education. Quite the opposite. It destroyed all hope. Hopelessness is no plan, Mr. Governor. It's no plan at all. This plan is dead on arrival. But, but it can't it's not, even get the support of the mayor. But the, what's going on now doesn't work now. Well, Obviously, I, I, I want to point to something. What's now. going on now, may I answer? It's 16 years that Lansing has controlled Detroit Public Schools. Let's get a reality check. 14 of the last 16 years have been under emergency managers or emergency financial managers or CEOs, as they used to call them, appointed by Lansing. That's got to end. We want our schools back because they've made a mess. Things weren't great to begin with. Actually, compared to today, they were great. Kids had art, music, gym in their schools. Today, they have a lot of standardized testing that destroys their morale, destroys their creativity. It's destroying education. This is not a good faith effort. This is just continued. Jim Crow is segregation and inequality, and it's poison to us all. Let's all stand together with the DFT and fight for justice here. Right, Steve and Tony, thank you very, very uh, much for both of your inputs in this.